Autobahn. I'm coming in. Yeah. Good morning team, I'm back with another Tips for Tricks and today is the Audubon. Looks like this. Yes! Yes! Ah! Let's get started. So, the first thing is that I'm going to be teaching three different levels for these moves. The first level is going to be the beginner level, the second the advanced, and the third the black belt. And so, today, we're going to start off with the beginner techniques. The first thing that you need to have is prerequisites. And then parents, if you're watching this video, making sure that your kids are practicing the prerequisites because we don't want to just throw the kids in the fire and they get hurt with this move. We want them to train the right way so that they can have confidence throughout their journey in martial arts. And so, we're going to start off with our basic warm-up, the round kick to the hook kick. It looks like this. And down. Okay? When you do this move, you're gonna do a round kick first with your right leg, picking up your right leg up as high as you can. You're gonna rotate your base to the back and then extend and always practice with balance so you have control. That way if you ever use it in a competition, the judges can see that you have good control of yourself. Okay, so watch again. We kick one, we balance. From here, we're gonna put our right foot down next to us and our left leg is gonna come up, bending our knee like this, and then the leg is in front, kicking across and then setting it down. And so I'll do it slow again. My leg comes up, extend, land to the side, he comes up, extend, and then set it down. All right, level one, which is the beginner level. Now, make sure that you did your round kick and hook kick before you started doing this one. This move is gonna look just like this. Okay, when you do this move, you're doing a move called a hop over. And obviously it's a hop over because I'm hopping over my other foot. There's a concept in tricking that we use called spotting. And if you've ever done dance and ballet and stuff like that, then you understand that you have to look at your target the entire time. So it's the same thing for tricking when you're spinning. And so now you're gonna pick up your right leg like this, and then from there I'm gonna put my foot, I'm gonna replace it looking back at the camera. Bang, you see, watch again. You go right leg up and you switch, bang. Like that okay then from there you start to do extensions my suggestion is to start from the first kick and then do not do the second kick yet so you do this one one two okay and then from there now I break it down a little more I take out the first kick and only do the second kick so I go one and two okay then from there I do both kicks so we go one kick two kicks right there and so now in the end, you're going to be able to do the beginner level Audubon, which again looks like this. Yes! Now, we take it to the next level! Okay, so, we're going to be going up to the advanced level. The first thing that you're going to need to be able to do is a tornado kick. And so, that is this one here. Yes! There, okay? Very simple move, one of the basics of tricking, but you do need to be able to do this to do the advanced level Audubon. To do a tornado kick, you're gonna just really quickly taking your right leg and we're gonna step over next to our left foot while rotating our bases. From here, I pick up my left leg and then from there, I kick my right leg. To do this Audubon, you're gonna do the round kick, hook kick, the hop over that we did last time. So this one, one, two, and then now you're gonna practice with your balance. You do your tornado kick and balance. Boom, and then you control that kick. Then from there, I do my left leg hook kick. So now when you do it quickly, you're like this. One, boom, two. That right there, that's the advanced level Audubon. Make sure that you practice a lot. A lot. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, since we're already here, Let's go ahead and do the black belt level! All around me are familiar faces. It is called the 720. And 
the jackknife. Here's what the 720 looks like. Just like this. Yes! It's one of my favorite moves. Here is the jackknife. Jackknife time! Yes! Jackknife time! Yes! Jackknife time! Yes! Yeah, it's really hard to trick after having a baby. Here, let me just put up a video of Matt Emick doing it. I'm gonna teach you now how to do a 720. This is a three part process, so make sure that you're paying attention. Just like you should be paying attention to your parents at home. All right, your 720. The first thing is that you need to know how to do a cheat step, just like you do in a tornado kick. Cheat step is when you take your, your right foot, the, the one that you're just stepping with, that's gonna step over to this side. Now, if you can see, I'm not stepping forward, I'm stepping over to my left, so I'm gonna step this way. Watch one more time. I step over here to this side. That's a cheat step. Then I bring up my left leg, just like this, okay, to the front. This is what I call your pump leg, okay? So your 720 again, you're gonna go like this. You step your right leg one, picking up your left leg two. So that's two steps. Now the third step is when you spin. So you're gonna go step one, bringing up your pump leg two, and then from there, I'm just gonna hop off of my right leg and do one more rotation. Now remember that you have to be able to spot if you wanna learn how to do a 720. If you're not spotting, you're not gonna be able to kick in the right place. So let's start with this again. I go, right leg steps, one, still looking forward. I turn, bang, I look again, and then from here I'm going to jump and spin with my left leg up, looking at my target. And from there, we add one more step, which is the kick. Then you're going step over, one, pick up the knee, two, then from here, rotate, three, okay? Now, I know that was pretty sloppy. We go one, two, bang, three, boom, like this, okay? Then eventually, you turn that into a 720, which looks like this. I'm tired. Looks like this. That was better. That's that one. Now, jackknife, you need to be able to do a 540 which is one of the most difficult moves ever. First thing is a 540, then you add a hook kick, and that is how you do a jackknife. I appreciate that you're hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button, it really does mean a lot. I do spend some time on these videos, and I would really appreciate if you keep on watching them, and I wanna see the progress of the kids, so if you guys can send me videos of, of the students doing it, maybe I can help you out, maybe I can, I can send some videos back, kind of like an online, um, mini private lesson type thing, but I would love to help you out, especially with the tournament coming up soon. And so uh, let me know if you want help and um, then I'll get back to you uh, as soon as possible. And uh, keep training and I'll see you soon. You're dismissed.